Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I want to share with you my top five mineral sunscreen recommendations of 2022. Now, I don't personally reach for a mineral sunscreen in my day-to-day -day skincare routine, which is maybe why they don't feature as prominently here on the channel. So I want to turn that on its head and give them the love and attention that I think they deserve. I know a lot of people out there like to reach for mineral sunscreens, and so hopefully these five recommendations will fit perfectly and seamlessly into your skincare routine. Sit back, relax, and let's stop the best mineral sunscreens. Now before we get into this video, I would love to get that conversation going. Mineral, chemical, or somewhere in between a hybrid. What's your personal preference? Sound off in the comments section below with any of your personal recommendations when it comes to sun protection products. For me, like I say, I don't personally reach for a mineral sunscreen day in, day out of my own skincare routine. There's a couple of reasons why, which I've captured in a video which hasn't even gone live yet. So if you want a sneak preview of that, I'll leave a link to it up there and in the description box below so you can check it out. Honestly, I think it'll all come down to personal preference. There are pros and cons to both chemical and mineral sunscreen. It's all about choosing the right one for your budget, your skin type, and what you're looking to get out of the product itself. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my absolute favourite, so let's just cut that waffle and delve straight on in. Now, let's kick things off with like best in show energy with a true holy grail product, and it's this. This is the Bliss Block Star Invisible Daily Sunscreen. Now, you'll see an awful lot of content creators recommend this product here on YouTube, and honestly, I think it's worthy of that hype. Like I said, I don't reach for a mineral sunscreen for like my day-to-day -day skincare routine, but when I do, it's this product I reach for. It just matches perfectly with my skin tone, which is something I've struggled to get to work with when it comes to mineral sunscreens. This is lightly tinted and lightly fragranced, both things I personally enjoy. The tint will work for you if your skin tone is mine or there or thereabouts, but I don't think it'll work for the very fairest out there or the deepest, darker and richer skin tones, and I've got some recommendations for those later on in the video. But for me, this does just deliver. And that light fragrance, I think it gives me quite an uplifting vibe when I apply it to my skin. It leaves just the perfect amount of dewiness. I think sometimes mineral sunscreens can translate a little bit chalky, almost be like too deadpan matte. Not with this, you get a little bit of hydration, you get a nice bit of dewiness to the skin, but again, it doesn't look greasy at all. I experienced no irritation with this product. And like you see, that just literally blended to perfection. No ashiness, no white cast, and it's broad spectrum too. So I think this is a really, really nice product that'll match with an awful lot of people's skin. You're really gonna have to consider your skin tone when it comes to reaching for this product. I think, you know, it will work fine on my skin tone there or thereabouts, but it might not work for everyone. So I do wanna call that out, but a really, really nice option that I think is my current go-to mineral sunscreen. Now up second on this list is the Derma E Mineral SPF Powder. Now I don't reach for powder SPFs as like my go-to application because I think you know studies have shown that you don't get the coverage you need and it can be a little bit patchy in terms of the application so I wouldn't personally recommend you reach for a powder as like the one and only sunscreen in your routine. However, when it comes to reapplying, particularly on very oily skin types, I think a powder can be a game-changing addition. So I like to apply one of my favourite sunscreens on a morning, and then midway through the day, when I want to just touch things up, give a bit of reapplication, I reach for this Derma E powder, just give a light powdering across the face. It doesn't translate as chalky in any way, and I find it'll help to absorb some of that excess oil that my skin seems to produce. You know what? I'm a grease slick by lunchtime, and this really does help to mattify everything down. You're not going to get like a total new reapplication with this approach. However, it's convenient. It's great on the go because you can throw it in your purse and apply it wherever you happen to be and it's a lot less messy. It also won't disrupt any makeup that you might have applied and it will give a nice mattifying effect. So I think if you're someone that would like to reapply during the day, just never find it that convenient and that's the main reason why you don't. I think this could be a really good product to try out. It's super affordable and like all things Derma E, it just delivers. They're quickly becoming one of my favorite favorite skincare brands, so expect to see a lot more of them in 2023 as we go through the next 12 months. But I think this mineral SPF powder will be a great option for people that aren't currently reapplying, but would like to with something that's super, super convenient. Now in third place is a product that you guys recommended me so, so much over the last year and a half, and for some reason I never put on order. I think I went to order it a couple of times, it was out of stock and I kind of forgot about it. But I finally did put it through its paces and I was really, really impressed. This is the Dr. V in Zincable 
daily sunscreen. So this was created by Dr. Vanita Ratan, who's a content creator here on YouTube. I'm sure a lot of people will be aware of the content that she creates, and I will leave a link to her channel in the description box below. So she came out with this 100% mineral sunscreen that's really designed to work on the full spectrum of skin tones. So anyone with a deeper, darker, and richer skin tone that's found that, you know, mineral sunscreens translate as a bit ashy. They give almost like a lavender hue to the skin, which, let's be honest, nobody actually wants. This won't do that and should work and be applicable for everyone. I love that. It's really nice to see a well-formulated mineral sunscreen that doesn't just cater to, like, the fairer skin tones, like that Bliss one does in terms of their tint, but actually a product that will work universally. I've seen a lot of content creators with deeper, darker, and richer skin tones applying this, and it is truly invisible on the skin. So whilst I'm probably not the best person to test this because I don't think I'm their target demographic, I had a great experience with it. It didn't irritate my skin. Again, it didn't have that deadpan matte application. It kind of gave a little bit of dewiness and hydration to the skin as well, which is something I personally look for. And based on other people's experiences, those with deeper, darker, and richer skin tones, this does seem to be a truly universal product. I think the one drawback from this and why it isn't featuring higher in this list is it is a little bit on the pricier side, especially when you consider the amount of product you're getting. But I love the packaging, how innovative it looks. I like the fact that it's truly universal. And you can definitely tell that a lot of formulation and thought has really gone into this product to just make it work and deliver. And it certainly did for me. So definitely one that I think I will be repurchasing in the future and could become a staple in my skincare routine when I want to try more mineral options. So in at number four on this list is the Naked Sunday's Collagen Glow SPF 50 Plus. Now, this is a bit more bougie and higher price for a sunscreen that I personally would normally reach for. I am dirt cheap and drugstore to my core, but I tried this out because there was a couple of things that really intrigued me about it. First off, I love the fact that it contains vegan collagen, which would be nice and hydrating on the skin. Anyone that's reached for a mineral sunscreen and finds it almost like strips and dries their skin out, this won't do that. And so you might have a better application and experience with a product like this that is packed full of hydrators than you will for some more affordable uh, mineral sunscreens. I also love the fact that it's packed full of antioxidants. Now, I always say when it comes to protecting the skin, SPF sunscreen is just half of the battle. You also need a really good potent antioxidant blend to go alongside it. Sunscreen protects against UV damage, antioxidants protect against free radical damage, which can cause oxidative stress and premature aging. You kind of get it one in done style approach with this product with the antioxidants and your fabulous sun protection all in one. So if you see the price point of this actually delivering an antioxidant serum and a sunscreen, I think it's seems more reasonable. Now this definitely gives you a glow up to the gods. It is definitely the most dewy of all the ones I'm talking through today. So if you're someone that's really struggled to find like a dewy mineral sunscreen, and honestly, they very rarely exist on the market, this could be the run to reach for. It hydrates you, it glows up the skin, it applies beautifully and seamlessly, and it has some packed full of other skincare beneficial ingredients. This is just a holy grail product, and it's kind of made me want to experiment more with this particular skincare brand. I also love and appreciate the fact that on their website, they state very clearly what you should expect from this product. So they say that it does go on with a more thicker application than their other sunscreens. That's to be expected because, you know, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are thicker in terms of ingredients. So usually that translates to a thicker application with a mineral sunscreen. And they also say that it might take a little bit more working in than the other chemical equivalents do. So bear that in mind. And I think that transparency and the fact that brands are open with this, helping us to make the right decision for our skin's needs, this is really should be welcome. So yes, they've definitely, definitely piqued my interest with this, even though it is a higher price point than I normally would pay. Now, fifth and final on this list is the Round Lab 365 Derma Relief Sunscreen. So I actually tried this about 12 months months ago, I was really, really impressed with it. The only reason I didn't continue to use it is because I generally prefer chemical sunscreens for the reasons I outlined in that video that I linked earlier. But if you're a mineral sunscreen devotee and you love your zinc oxide and titanium dioxide fix, this is a really, really well formulated product. The reason why I love it so much is they call it like derma relief, which implies it's sensitive skin friendly, it's going to calm and soothe, and it absolutely will. It's packed full of calming and soothing botanicals alongside panthenol, allantoin, things that are really going to take down any redness and inflammation in the skin. Lots of people reach for mineral sunscreens because they tend to be more sensitive skin friendly, not always, 
but generally speaking. And so if that's you and your reason for reaching for a mineral sunscreen, try this one out. I think you'll get a really nice level of calming and soothing alongside that really high SPF rating and a product that just glides onto the skin and after working it in for like 20 seconds was truly invisible. The finish on this one, again, is kind of more on the dewy than the matte side because it's packed full of vitamin E too, which is a wonderful antioxidant and a hydrator. So it doesn't have that chalky deadpan matte vibe that you can get from sun mineral sunscreens. I think it'll work for a very wide range of skin tones and skin types. There are lots of other mineral sunscreens on the market, so I would love to know your holy grails and favourites. Sound off in the comments section below, because one of my missions in the next 12 months is to try more mineral sunscreens, put them through their paces, so I can give you a really comprehensive review sometime in 2023, so your recommendations will really feed into that. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you have, don't forget to give it a like, and wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.